what's up, what's up? We back with another edition of the best podcast you never heard of. This is the king. Man. I was about to say, this is the king's. I was <laughs> flabbergasted. This is another edition of Casita Nobody. Episode 145. That's one comeback, Jordan, for anybody who's keeping track. Um, you already know who I'm looking towards, a.k.a. The low-key legend, a.k.a. Dark Skin Thanos, a.k.a. You know the rest. I'm up in here, man, with my homie, Jason. What's good? Hold on, hold on. I can put some sauce on that, man. Go, Chicago, <laughs> Jason, Richie. Hey, hey man, it's Jason, part. Richie, a.k.a. Vanessa Williams, a.k.a. Marty McHigh, a.k.a. Patrick, you win. Listen. All right? Listen. Hey, he, he, he free, he free stuff there. <laughs> no. You been working on, you been rehearsing. That was for her. That's just, that's just some of the AKAs. So I'll give you some SKAs, some BKAs. What's like, SKA? You know, Slightly some, known as? Sometimes known oh, as. Okay, that's a new one to me. Did you make it up or is that? <laughs> yeah, I definitely made that up. Is that some Hollywood shit? That that I just know? made some shit up too, you know, because y'all push myself, so I mean, like you said. Definitely, definitely. What's good with you though, man? I do. I have no idea where I just uploaded this at. You know what I mean? Where they like the... Show that I just upload this to this nigga uploading this shit to fucking OnlyFans. Hey, you went too far off. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, but it's fine, no, everything been good. Uh, B day just passed, nigga getting old. How old are you, nigga? I'm timeless, nigga. Hey, I'm listen, Benjamin's listen. button. Hey, I, I I definitely ain't mad at that. <laughs> old head, old nah, head. Nah, uh, I'm 35, man. I ain't, I ain't young you know, head, young head. I be having to remember, man. Like for real, for real. Now nah, I'm at that point. When was your birthday? Um, on, on uh, Friday. Why you didn't get on Instagram and turn up so I could know? How was I supposed to know it's your birthday, nigga? If you ain't, you making me a bad friend because I didn't know yeah, your birthday. You know what? That's Happy face, birthday. That's what man. Facebook do. You said what? That's Facebook. I ain't on Facebook. And that's, you know, that's the thing. If you're not on Facebook, you can't know nobody's birthday. You don't know shit <laughs> on Facebook no more, man. That's the, Facebook that's is the more news. reliable than CNN news. Yeah. And so, uh, so happy birthday, man. I, I, I don't give a shit, man. I'm going to show. I'm getting on Instagram. I'm going to give you a motherfucking belated happy <laughs> birthday. Hey man, my birthday it's my birthday month, nigga. Ain't that how no, black no. people do? That's how black girls do. It's my birthday month, y'all. That's how black, don't reduce yourself to It's my book. birthday. Nigga. This don't. is the anniversary. It was just the anniversary of me sliding down my mama coochie. That's all, nigga. This is my birth anniversary. That's it. It's some weird what shit you, to celebrate. What what what's this what's this pagan shit, let me think. Right. Was you saying shit like uh, it's sad season? It says it with Scorpio. What are you, man? What yeah, is you out there turned Scorpio. up? It's Scorpio season. Hey, you get in the club, free and shit. Show your ID <laughs> with your birthday on that motherfucking sad shit in there. Yeah, nigga. This is the only time. This is the only time a nigga is important in his life on Facebook. Is uh, listen, his birthday. Listen, so, you know, the only time people give a fake shit about you. Nah, so you know you got to exploit that. You know, that's the only reason I made my return back to Facebook. And, oh, you got you collect your shit, huh? I'm okay with I'm okay no. with that man saying that I, I, I did it for the uh for the the what do you call it the um the algorithm. Yeah, I did it for the alg. I did it for the algae. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Did you did you have your speech? Did it for the algo? No, I did not you do that. Cook, cook cook speech. That I can't do that. Right I, 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 I used to, I'm finna, I just really was trying to thank people individually, for real, for real. Like, right if they right. took a, a time to, um, fucking post some shit on that. Because I don't, you know. Did some people get, like, when, like, when you go down the line and shit to say thanks, do some people get the obligato- obligatory, uh, right on, and yeah. then some people get the, I really appreciate that, man, you all been a real one. Where you, where you yeah, gotta get the like, individual yeah, man, the sauce of your thank you. And it's hard and it's hard not to, cause I start off like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Then I'll be like, man, yeah, man, what up, bro? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think people understand that like I don't care the smell if I didn't response. talk to you, nigga. If yeah. I didn't talk to you, I don't care if I knew if I knew you we be cool, nigga, we cool. Alright? It ain't no weird shit. I just don't be fucking on in your inbox and like, you know what I mean? All the weird shit on the, on the internet. So, but we cool, nigga. So, that's why it's like, I be trying to be, 
I make it, it be personal to me if you accept in and type the personal message. At the end, like what you got to get in before midnight, you give everybody a chance to make sure they get their happy birthdays on their birthday. So you make sure you wait and you like, okay, I gave you to 11.30 and then you get your mental note of who's not getting a happy birthday for not telling you happy birthday because it's only right. And so did you say, um, I just want to take the time out to thank everybody who took time out today to give me a happy birthday. It means so much to be here. No. Uh, no. How was your, well, come on, man. Why are you too good I, for a fucking end of no, the day basement I, speech? I, <laughs> I think it's too good. I want, no, I ain't too good, man. I just did that before. And, you did uh, it before? Yeah, I did okay, it. Okay, okay. How did that speech go? <laughs> uh, thank you. It's the typical, Hello. it's the typical obligatory uh, thank you. Thanks guys for uh hold on, hold for the B Day on, love. Hold on real quick. Let's do this real quick. Thank y'all for the B Day love. No, fuck your B Day love. Let's let's applaud Jason for taking my obligatory word. Less than yeah. three minutes after I exposed it to the show. <laughs> like I said. I couldn't get it out the first time. I, know. <laughs> oh, oh. I didn't realize. I thought you did say it. <laughs> Second time. Oh, okay. But what was your speech though? Like, mm -hmm. no, it was it was it was the corny typical uh, thing. I appreciate y'all be that for the be that love. Thanks, like you know, like something like that. You put a heart on there. Yeah, a little heart emoji. Okay. Nah, um, but now nah, I be trying to be like, thank you, thank you. Thank yeah, so you, I want to give you your props you. real quick. You took my uh, obligatory. And I'm gonna take uh, something you ran together. I don't even know if you meant to do it. It might just be your fucking. Your fucking flawless dopeness, <laughs> but you said corny typical, <laughs> and, and it sounded like one word. And I'm about to start using that shit. That was very Has corny, typical, corny nigga. typical. You dude. are very corny typical. That's our shit now, nigga. That, you, that mainstream. Hey, listen, you 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 created it. You made a dope hot line. I mean, I'm about to make it a hot song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if if. And you know what? I I will, I own that too. If that's because that's what the fucking internet is about. Listen, this nigga very fucking what is it, uh charitable. Hey, what uh you do anything for your birthday? Uh nothing big, man. I'm just chill with fam, man. For real. You said you did what? Chill, just chill with fam, man. You live north? Yeah, I'm up north you know, That's man. what's up, that's what's up. Uh what else been going on? Weekend was pretty boring. Shout out to my one of my nieces, she got her three hundred and sixty five days here on earth. Shout out to Zori. Yeah. Um Ain't, ain't too much been going on, man. Uh, before we get to, well, now let's jump right, right into. First off, first off, nothing but everything. You ain't doing no shows recently. No, no shows. Um, mm. Still black. Um, what is Nathaniel? No, Nathaniel like they're cooking. They just sent four pictures with earthquake. <laughs> you got to. What? For the algo, bro. For the algo. We did it for the algo. What's bro. with you in this algo, man? <laughs> you been hitting with this algo, Paul, since you got here. The birthday algo, now the, the comedy algo. show algo. It's for the algo, man. It, it, uh, everything is motivated by likes and, um, uh, you know what I mean, uh, generating attention and inter having interaction with people on the internet. Yeah. So, you know, I'm trying to change my mindset and my perspective about it so I can hit it hard. Look, look, like, look. They done, look. They done broke me. Uh, they're going mainstream. Uh, they're uh, going to be on a fucking uh, uh, Capital One commercial and shit arguing with white neighbors. Oh, it ain't going to be mainstream, nigga. It's just yeah. like, uh, I'm about, it's about to go back to the roots, nigga. Like, we got to go back to the, the YouTube and, and, and MySpace Origins and Google Google Video. Nigga. Right, look. Yeah, back to that shit. So we'll that's, to that's, origin story. That's what the people want. And then uh, the fifth, the, then the fist of the wasteland is finally done. Um, that project uh, uh, that's going to be on Amazon and uh, that shit. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Karate, I was like, kind of lost in what you were saying. The what the is that sci-fi uh, western. Was this the shit you was doing in Texas? Uh, no, nah, this is the shit that we was filming like on the beach and shit like that. Like, uh, in the dunes. And when is it supposed to come out? 2021. 2021. That's all we got. That's all we got right now, man. It just wrapped. So yeah, they got to put all the effect, special effects and shit on there. It's going to be a lot of special effects and shit like that. Is this a sitcom? No, it's a sci-fi comedy movie. That's what I'm saying. Karate, that, western. <laughs> this belongs, this definitely belongs on USA Up All Night. This go Ron Desheer and Gilbert Godfrey. This will be some funny, like, Sharknado. It ain't like Sharknado, but it's like. It's self-aware. It's. I think it is kind of 
No, I didn't. I, I don't you know, know. I say it's something like where I'm talking about it's like nobody trying to win an Emmy. Nah, like, ain't nobody, yeah, definitely yeah, ain't yeah. nobody trying to win an Emmy. It's just like some shit that we knew that would be fun to do and people would enjoy to watch for what real. What you feel me say? Uh, Indiana Dunes and Michigan and uh, Chicago. Thus, Chicago. So Texas. all around the yeah. Lake Michigan. What was that shit you were shooting in Texas? Um, these are some unreleased sketches. That's also for the, um, our sketch comedy show. Yeah. It's called Nothing to Do. That has been yet to come back, and it is about to come back. That's the point of filming all these sketches. So we've been filming a lot more sketches for that. So I'm I'm excited about that for real because we do got a lot of sketches. But and I know people like you keep saying coming soon, nigga. You keep saying coming soon, nigga. But I'm like, no, for real. Like this shit coming, and uh, you know, not to sound like a rapper, but this shit about to be a flood, nigga. This shit better be a wave. What part of Texas you shooting in? Uh, Dallas. I'm going down there. Right. Before work, December the 4th, yeah. I'm going to the Errol Spence fight. The who? Oh, Errol Spence. Yeah. Errol, Errol. I, I didn't, I'm sorry to pronounce it how you want to be too. No, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I have to comprehend. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, going down there, check out that fight, man. You versus Danny Garcia. You fuck with Danny Garcia, you know who he is. I'm not aware. I'm not going to pretend to know. Uh, I probably wouldn't know him if I seen him. No, no they all look alike. Okay. But no, nah, it's gonna be a dope ass fight, man. Can't wait to go down and check that out. Mm-hmm. Before we get this show kicked off, man, I want to give a shout out to my homie Miguel. I told him my one. I first I told him, and I'm sorry I lied to him. I told him he's my favorite red bone on earth. <laughs> he's actually part of a triumvirate of red bones, uh-huh. which remarkably all their names start with an M: Miguel, Maurice, and Marquise. Uh-huh. And, I, and I only thought about that today, man. Three motherfucking old people names start with M. And they some of my favorite people on earth. Is he? And you gotta understand that, huh? Um, I don't I mean because I was about to say is Miguel Hispanic? He's very much not Hispanic. I he's, just want to he's know. He's a nigga. I just have to know. He's a nigga. I don't I, have favorite Hispanics. Man, I just have to know. That's not a fat joke. But listen, no, uh, we was rapping and shit, we some with the video games and stuff. You fucking with the uh nigga PS5. Name um I was like niggas name one. Um Hold on, man. That might be. I ain't never know Miguel been a lady. So you just christened him Miguel Juan. No, I'm just saying. I know. No, I said niggas is name. Niggas name Juan. That's another one that get me. I'm like nigga. You ever met a nigga named Juan who was a troublemaker? No. Every nigga named Juan, this shit got a case done. Well, wait, 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 one, just one. What do we do for a living? If you ain't a troublemaker, you're homosexual. Please give him a pistol. Maybe, I don't know what he do for a living, but I think he did go to the Army, though. <laughs> well, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of a case. Shout out to Veterans Day. Shout out to my nigga Chris. He said give him a pistol. Shout out to my nigga Chris. They got that, uh, that Babylonian Army, Egyptian Army, Veterans Day tomorrow. Speaking of, man, I just threw that Jeopardy music on. Shout out to Alex Shabazz. Ah. Great loss for television history. Jesus. And Louise. by great, I don't mean greatest and good, but... Huge. Were you a fan of Jeopardy or Alex Trebek? For sure, man. I used to have a fantasy about going on Jeopardy and getting out of the hood. Man. I, I think I think my shit predated White Man Can't Jump, but it probably came to fruition around that time <laughs> where I would sit around and fake answer questions and shit. Like, I, what is the capital of Kansas? St. Louis, speak. I mean, speak. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that man. where... I always used to fantasize about going on there. To this day, man, I get emails from Jeopardy because I used to just, <laughs> I used to apply for that shit. I used to apply for that shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I think I was built. I think I was programmed for that shit, nigga. Because I would always be trying to figure out. Like, I have, I know all this random trivia and shit like that. Yeah. So I did very well in them shows. So I'm like, man, well, I need to go. Like, I know, like. Surveys like Family Feud, that yeah. shit, I uh, could kill that fuck, shit. Family Feud is just a guess, nigga. That's a guess, but I, you know, nigga, yeah. I, I, it's based off of people being stupid and they, and that's they off the cuff. Always fuck up. They off the cuff. Man, like, what would they say at the moment? A hundred people. What makes a man happy? I'll be thinking about where was they at when they asked these niggas. They probably at the mall. Yeah. And niggas like, I don't know, uh, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite game show? Coming up, because then when we came up, man, when I came up in the 80s, man, game show was all the yeah. craze, yeah. Uh, especially like the daytime shit. I don't think that anything trumps the price of right as far as popularity. Yeah. I, that was Jeopardy and Will Fortune can rival it. 
Yeah, definitely uh, Price is Right was one, was one of them. But all of those, my grandma watched, so I watched them. Did you watch after they went on Gotti Mike and all that shit? Did you watch Soul Sweet? That was why, that was like, yeah, that was, we definitely watched that shit. In the 80s, man, I wanted to be some cool ass white people. I wanted to be James Stanback. I wanted to be Roger Thorpe. Then, I wanted to be Missing in Action, Chuck Norris. I was talking to my buddy, uh, my buddy, uh, who the fuck was I talking to? Was either Chris or. I wonder if you think somebody want to be Walker, Texas Ranger. Hey, Walker. And I said, I want to be Chuck Norris, too, but my Chuck Norris is a little bit cooler than you. It was Braddock, <laughs> nigga. He was Braddock missing in action. You want to be fucking uh, Charlie Bronson? Hey. What was his shit? Death Wish. Death, Charles Bronson was, yeah. he was like the quintessential motherfucker in the 80s and shit, 70s and 80s. Walking around with a big-ass gun and even bigger mustache. I was I was big on the fucking karate and acting like that okay. shit. When you take, oh, come on, man. Don't out Bruce Lee me. I ain't got Don't out Bruce Lee, I can't out Bruce Lee, but it was like I watched the dumb, the reject shit too, like the Billy Blanks, like it wasn't a reject. Don but, the Dragon Wilson, yeah, Don the Dragon <laughs> and shit like Listen, that. Listen, my fucking Cynthia Rock Rock. That's that's Brian. fucking legendary <laughs> shit, nigga. If you know this shit, nigga. Yeah, so what was that shit? shit? Was, what was that shit? I, like hold on now, don't don't reduce the five deadly venoms to Don the Dragon nah, Wilson. I'm just saying, like, no retreat, no surrender. But it's like it's a classic, classic, but it's on the far other opposite end of the spectrum. Like yeah. nigga, that shit was horrible, but it's I have classic. to watch them soon. I gotta I gotta find them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask you this, man, because I gotta I'll be feeling like I'm the only person who's seen this fucking movie. You ever seen Remo Williams? Remo, yeah, yeah. that's the name of the movie. Yeah, uh, clearly you are, you're not an NC League class of fucking bullshit movie watching. Oh, this no. bullshit. Hey, it was. I gotta look it up now. Be some shit. He's coming like Cinemax and shit, HBO and all little uh, dope ass action movie. That was, I think, man, the '80s. This is how. I, this is how I say '80s was the best time for me in history for movies and television. Yeah, and then '90s for music. Cause it was so ripe and new, and it was fucking with it. Like I mean, that wasn't new, but it was like it was a transition. Yeah, we applaud the debauchery of the eighties. Um, I feel like I shout out to Alex Trebek, man. Yeah. Out of all the game shows, he was my favorite one. It was something smug about Pat Sajak I didn't like. I think that <laughs> that motherfucker. You shouldn't be able to tell somebody five foot four by just looking at him on TV. But it was something about him out there. But I did applaud that he was a pimp. Yeah. Vanna White go change that. You know what I'm saying? She knew her role. She worked for him. Go get that. Is he still doing that shit? Or do you know? He was. Because I know that's something about her taking over when he quit. I think he is still doing it, man. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't think they put Drew Carey on there too yet. Drew Carey was all bastard. I don't like that with them on Price is Right. I didn't see that coming, man. I did. Who, if you could have just found somebody, I'm going to tell you who would have been cool for Price is Right. And it just popped up in my head. He was gonna go comedian. He's now a recluse. Very popular in the eighties and nineties. Rick Moranis. <laughs> I could have seen Rick Moranis on there, man. Cause you seen that shit? Uh, yeah, but no. Too little. Too unimposing. He just it just you could look at him and look like he would be you could be like, man, this nigga going crazy, man, because he gotta do this game show over and over. And hysterical over. shit. Yeah. Who like, would you have picked? Uh, I mean, who's out here just throwing? Man, I. I Arsenio. <laughs> Arsenio could do that, didn't he? He ain't got shit else to do. It's funny. You Harvey. know what? Yeah. It would probably be. Uh, Damn, you can't replace uh, fucking Bob Barker, but it probably would have been like, dude, you, have, you, are you familiar with Seinfeld? Yeah. Dude, dude played Peter McDo with the white hair. Um, oh, what's his what the fuck is his name? I think he hosts something else. Brolin. Though. It ain't Brolin. Fuck, man. You say he played Peter? Peter, man. That's what he played. Damn, what the fuck is his name? I think I seen Remo Williams, man. I just didn't know the name of it. Um, you looked it up? Yeah. Um, Peter, man. But dude with the white hair, man. I think I, I could see him. John Hurley. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I can see him on there too. Or, man. You know who I would I would like to see? Oh, it's yeah, not they wouldn't they would not fucking host uh have, have that shit. Eugene oh. Levy. <laughs> Damn. With the big eyebrows look like Groucho. Nah, he like 
what's doing here? Real monotonous on the dry eye. Yeah. He's like, you know. Well, we'll see who we have uh, coming yeah. up next year. Yeah, uh, on everything. <laughs> oh, hey, he seems smaller than that. Okay. <laughs> hey, he seems like he does some Me Too shit, don't he? <laughs> you can see him telling the bitch, hey, how, he hit me with the titty, man. Because you just did a perfect fucking impression of him, man. How would he say, let me see your titty if you want to get on my show? Well, I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can. Some of those cans. That's the areola. <laughs> That's the areola. Who the fuck named that shit the areola, man? man. Like, what? I like wonder what's the etymology of that word. Nigga, they could they they said area and they was like that's too plain, like the area around the nipple, the nipple, and they were like no, nah, this say area areola. I wonder who was the motherfucker like they had that much the power area. influence shit that was all calling the the parking space around the titty areola. <laughs> parking space around. <laughs> Uh, man, this is a small circular area in particular, in particular the ring of pigmented skin surrounding the nipple. That's what it's defined as? Yes. Oh, okay. Any, so, yes. So what about, so, man, that's crazy. Because some shit ain't have no area Them bitches is aliens. They definitely, they clear or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, if you probably, if you're stare, like when, if, if you just on first glance didn't see the area, <laughs> was you sure that it wasn't there or did you just... Did you inspect? Do you think you overlooked it, maybe? Man, you know what? I seen them before, and uh, I was like, damn, they not, it's still nice, but it's uh, it ain't it's, it ain't right. So it's like a seedless watermelon. Yeah, something like that. It's like that's dope, but like I know it's a mutant. <laughs> it's a mutant ass <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> hey man, look though. Just to just to get back on track just a little bit, this past week was the selection. Selection is the best one for the next placeholder in the United States government. And that's an avatar. Is that what it is? Absolutely. Uh, Donald Trump is the alleged, and I say, and I don't use that loosely. Alleged loser of this selection process. Before we get to rapping about this, man, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this with all honesty. I don't really understand how they select the president. And I was pretty sure with the electoral college, I know it's electoral college and shit, but I don't understand how they select the president. Like, I don't understand, man. It, it, a lot of times to me, because, because, like, they're like popular opinion, for sure. Because, first, we know the popular vote, you can lose the popular vote, still win. But you... But opinion. What you mean by that? Like, who, well, if this is just a placeholder or whatever, you know, the, the, the quote unquote powers that be, uh, like, it's, it, it don't matter. Like, it's just a, it's just a, I, I don't know how to really, uh, I, I, I get what you're saying, man, but I'm saying like, far as like the TV, the shit we see on TV, like say for instance, if you get the popular votes in Georgia, then it turn blue if you're a Democrat, if the Democrats, like how, I don't, I don't, it's about them swing states, I think is what it is, if it's the popular opinion in that damn state is like, this is what we do here, we don't go for that nigga bullshit, <laughs> not to simp not to oversimplify it, but it's yeah, like it's we don't go for no like quote unquote uh is it liberal, I think. Is he you know, liberal shit. Yeah. Then uh then it ain't no point of voting in that state damn near. But and, 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 and you Indiana, you over Biden and you go sit your black. You just wasted and, your shit. And you know what? And that's why and this why the swing states. It's yeah. like it's So you gotta be an important back. place. Yeah, I think so. That's where you at. I think in Nevada turned out to be pretty important for that little four electorals. And it ain't even like a, it ain't even like a population thing. It seemed like with those states that it was, right? Yeah, they, man. I just they, I just they weren't the biggest get, states, right? And and to be population wise. For one though, I I don't if this show you anything like this election selection, I don't think it's gonna sound fucked up, but I don't think people should pick the president like this regular run of mill people who you can galvanize or put in just demographics. That's what, you see what happened when that 
happened, and then that turns out they didn't like it. They like we don't like who we pick. Yeah, and what I'm because they don't make it. They not they picking like it's not you picking based on policy, but emotion and can you get a beer with them? Yeah, and first off, let's make it clear, I'm not into American politics. Um, and what I mean by that, I don't. I, and listen, I don't identify as American. I'm very aware yeah. that that we uh, was brought here. I tell foreign people this all the time. Tell them what exactly? I, I'm, I, I tell them that I'm like, hey, I just live here. I don't do this American shit that they do. Like, I'll be trying to educate myself about other cultures and not be ignorant and show a piece of respect so y'all niggas will respect me. Otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no common ground, and I see why niggas don't fuck with you. But I be trying to fight. I be trying to be like, so what you about? Versus how most Americans. They probably be so tired of your black understanding. <laughs> <laughs> you know Justin? You be that guy who yeah, tell jokes? Hey, he say what? I, hmm, for real? They be like, man. and then he told me something in my language. <laughs> You be over there Googling this shit out of town. Nah, I be asking them straight up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, how you, you say that? How you say brother? How you say... The I don't know what they pet. <laughs> <laughs> I be, nah, sometimes, like, I, like if it's a language that's, like, a, like kind of a popular language and you got the translators, mm-hmm. I'll speak it into that shit just to see. I'll be checking behind them niggas. You got a translator at? Yeah. Mm. Because the nigga be teaching, teaching me Arabic, nigga, so I'll be having to go speak that shit into it to make sure he ain't fucking with me. But Donald Trump lost. He was winning a uh, night election. I'm, I was going for Donald Trump. Uh, I, I, I'm an ambassador. I don't, I don't jump into the black box where I got to do everything black people do, where I got to think how they think. I like who the fuck I like. Uh, I don't like politicians per se, but I just like his demeanor. Mm-hmm. He's not offensive to me. I'm a, I'm a man. Men don't offend me when they do man shit. I'm offended by feminine men. You're a waste of fucking testosterone. But Donald Trump, on the other hand, he say what the fuck he want to, and he he's unabashedly with it. Shout out to my buddy Chris. Uh, we going to the fight. We going to the fight together. But he my my liaison into the political atmosphere of the world. I don't be knowing shit, and I be asking, and he be telling me certain shit. And he made a point to me where he said that. And I have echoed it several times since that Donald Trump is not a politician, he's a businessman. And so when you not a politician, you don't have that gift of gab. Donald Trump been in a position of power for a long time where he say what the fuck, he fired motherfuckers on TV. It's a power thing. But he does have the gift of gab. Not for sensitive not sensitive people. I'm about to say, because he just don't have a filter. The political the political gift of gab. Where you got a politic, where you got to be aware of sensitive to people's feelings, things okay, like that. Okay, okay. So just like that, but I'm I'm a fan of him as a man, and I like his disposition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I like manly shit. We was just talking about the movies, nigga. I grew up trying to wish I had long hair like Cody, <laughs> self hating, because James Earl Jones had the same amount of hair, and I didn't want to be him. <laughs> and I've seen a couple girls of weed just like James Earl. Fucked up, as it may be. But back to this shit, um, he went to, when I went to sleep, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm, I'm kind of upset at myself. I'm a little bit more antsy about these results than I've ever been. I cared a little bit more than I cared to care. And my whole thing was I didn't want Biden to win, not because it's going to affect my life one way or another. But I don't like this false joy that black people got. And it's not that I'm false. They be downer. Yeah. It's just that I know they're excited for no reason at all. Like, they have this, like, shout out to my sister, Linda, uh, my oldest and my, my most dear sister. We was talking the other day, and she said that this white lady was mad and hurt because Trump won. And I said, I was mad, too. And before I even thought about it, I said I was mad, too. And I was I was mad. I hate to say it, man, but I was slightly upset. And it's not. And I was more mad because I didn't have a horse in the race. But I told her, I said, I like Trump. And she like, why? I like, uh, I said what I said, and I'm like, why you like Biden? I'm like, and I go into my spiel when I say all oh, Biden supporters. He don't like you. You know what I'm saying? We go to the go to the 94 crime bill, his relation with Thron Sturman, mm-hmm. Sturman, whatever he was. I mean, he's a racist. They all racist. And, I, and racist is too weak of a term and it's too convenient. Uh, I think they self-preservationists. I'm not against somebody who want to preserve their fucking race. 
if you don't want to be around black people, you don't want your children going to school with black people, I'm not opposed to that. I'm not offended by it. But when you start running into these ignorant, goofy black people that you care about them and you their best interest and he's the boogeyman as opposed to you in your 1994 crime bill or this goofy uh, racially interchangeable bitch that was just calling you a rapist the year before. That's my speak. Nigga. And she Max on her throne. Damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Shout out to motherfucking Jason for that acute observation. <laughs> this bitch Nigga, you get fucking shit. Corny typical man. bitch is motherfucking mystique from the HB, nigga. <laughs> Listen, but she was just, and it's all facts. You can go on here, like, he was accused of inappropriate touching and, you know what I'm saying, uh, molesting. And she said that she believed the accusers and she glad they stepped forward. This is when her people pushing at me too, shit. But just typical bad wish behavior. When it benefits you, you go ahead and get in the bed with the person who you previously felt was an oppressor because it lightens the load of your oppression. You see what I'm saying? That's and that's why it. she's a bad wish to me. I'm not a fan of black women marrying white men, but you can do it with dignity. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to get in here and act like you fucking... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know some cool-ass white dudes who got some black bitches. Definitely. And I don't have my initial reaction is, uh, <laughs> But, oh, he cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm, being, I'm just being honest. But this bitch... You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you the vice president of Mystique, bitch. This is like, who, and we won't go no further in our X-Men analysis or analogies because Biden is somewhere near a Magneto. I won't <laughs> let you slander Magneto or myself that slander nigga Magneto. Is that motherfucker that turned to the blob, that, that motherfucker was the senator. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. This nigga is like, hey, I'm just here. I'm just chaining myself. How about drinking my tea with two hands? Hold on. And I That's just, how little hood niggas drink it. No, nah, listen. I was just telling my nigga Marquise. I said, man, there's no reason a man should be holding a cup of two hands and drinking it. Man, a cup is how, not heavy, so I apologize for it. Man, that's how them. That's how them hood niggas drink them big cups, nigga. They like <laughs> they seen a white man do that shit on TV. That's them escaping the hood in their mind. And however it is, but, it is. Donald Trump, he's not taking this this land down, man. And shit hilarious. First off, he said they cheated. And I'm going to tell you why I believe it. And I'm not going into detail about it because they programmed us or they put in our mind that early in the year when it came with this uh, pandemic that the coronavirus, the they coronavirus, first, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. I wish they'd take it back where it came from. He tried to warn me. And while we were stuck in the house, they was talking about the election and how can people go to the polls and, you know, saying, are they going to risk? And so they started saying, we're going to do absentee ballots. So that put in people's minds and shit that it's going to be absentee ballots. So when Trump gets in the lead, they can introduce that, oh, it's a fucking jet full of That's fucking Democratic votes and shit that we forgot to count. How was you? How could this? Happen? We just want to see how you're gonna to respond to the initial yeah. results, and then yep. we're gonna say it's the ballots. And and again, me believing, and if I get out my emotions and shit, my disdain for the election process or Biden, uh, quote unquote, winning the election, I see another turn coming. These blacks are a little bit too happy. How do you make them unhappy? How do you call? Because some people saying it's like you don't see the rioting. You know, so you don't see the far right Antifa groups that they was pumping up the uh, Proud Boys who they was trying to pump me. You know what I'm saying? Fear. Niggas was actually fucking terrified of these uh, so-called right wingers. You know what I'm saying? Right, Niggas right, was terrified. Right. So when you don't get the reaction that you want, the race war or something that could precipitate a so-called race war. When you don't get that reaction, you don't see the Confederate flags burning, going crazy. You don't see them turning over cars. When you don't get that reaction. What do you do? What's plan B? Do you sit here and let it fester? Where the people who are pro-Biden, who are the people who are mostly attached to this, where they can be ignited like a firebomb and set off, do you give them that sense of victory? Make them feel like they had the promised land or they just reached the finish line? Just to say we did this recount and it was totally wrong. Four more years for Trump. Plot twist. What happens next? 
Do the blacks go crazy? Are they still counting it? Cause I ain't been. Yeah, oh uh, man, listen, and I'm, I pulled up Trump shit, man. Listen, Trump, listen. First off, you got I don't follow him, but he's in. If I go to my search, he's the top of my search. Listen. Well, that's because you search for him a lot. That, no, it's just because the app I use keep the motherfucking you search last on top. Oh, okay. And he's the only person out of search. Unless, <laughs> unless fan dudes start fucking up my money. Nigga, Listen. tomato, tomato. This is what I'm saying, though. Go to Donald Trump's Twitter. <laughs> it is hard to believe it is a real Twitter. He be on here tweeting like... In the alternate universe. This nigga tweeting like he on his last fucking couple months at the job. <laughs> Which he's been doing. This motherfucker said, we are making big process. Results start to come in next week, make America great in. Uh, he's saying that Pfizer's just not released. And this is some feasible shit. He said, you know, Pfizer said they allegedly have a vaccine that's 90% sure that you won't get corona or whatever. But he said that they refused to release this pre-election because they didn't want the credit to go to him and people gravitate towards him for getting that shit. Which is fucking believable because I say the media, everybody was against Trump. This is the Trump was a victim of the media. If you're gonna believe this or not, if you check out any kind of fucking media or anything that happened in 2020, it was always fucking Trump. George Floyd get choked. Donald Trump didn't say he was sorry about George Floyd getting choked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this Corona, Donald Trump saying you ain't gotta wear masks. He said it ain't that serious. It was never nigga wash your hands. It was never <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? But they they twisted to it. Everything was his fault, right? And so it was what they pushed. They definitely demonized him. The fuck, and he and again, him not being politically astute and communicating with people, he just had that fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. had that. Listen, unbeknownst to him, there's only one thing that was left on earth, and he resides in Indianapolis, and he doesn't concede to nobody. So nigga, you can't be acting like you got all power, like you got the bulk and finish though, nigga. You have to be Lex Luthor. If you're going to be the president, you got to be President Lex Luthor. You can't be the Joker. You got to be a fucking billionaire. I got the cure. Yeah. If you vote for me, you definitely got to be Lex Luthor. That's a fucking look. Yeah. Uh-huh. So he said uh, 10 hours ago, ballot counting abuse. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he's saying, what the fuck? And the mainstream, even now, if you type in Trump, man, they say shit like Trump is a legend. Matter of fact, he had put on Twitter not election. They trying to steal this election. They removed that tweet. Twitter removed that fucking tweet yeah, because they trying to control the narrative. Yeah, for sure. They, they listen, you know, hashtags not working on uh, Instagram. What you mean? None. They removed hashtags because they said they didn't want misinformation about the election going on. They know that hashtags is some shit that people use to spread information. If it's the truth, I didn't even know that, dude. nigga. I, I I I said I got shadow bean. I well, thought I had been shadow bean. Uh, maybe like they announced it October 30th, right before the election. Haven't you noticed a downturn in your fucking uh, shit on? I just thought I got shadow being. I thought they just, and then you find it. I'm trying to see if they did that shit to me. Huh? So I'm trying to see if they did that shit to Man, me. Go to, Claire, click on the hashtag, see what you go to. You go to anybody pay, click on the hashtag. Well, I don't see no, I'm trying to find the hashtag. I was the only one who didn't know. Cause I swear I posted a hashtag on my post. Maybe not. Nope. Just go, just go to the post and shit, man. Whatever. But anyway, they even did that, and that's egregious to me. That's some. Um, that's disturbing to me, and it's like you are. <laughs> oh, if you post like if you like the election hashtag. Yeah, they might, man, listen. I was, I'm like, I, I still see other hashtags. So they just now let them come back up. You see, listen, recent posts from all hashtags are temporarily hidden to prevent the spread of false, possible false information, uh-huh. harmful content related to the election. So the hashtags are old hashtags. Do you, you see what I'm talking about? Do you see how powerful that is? Because you limit in information and censorship at the highest level. Yeah, so he's not. it's not just mainstream media. It's the social media platform. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The same ones who show all the rise, show all the direct, and just well, the, wait, wait, wait. No, nah, no, nah, all I was about to say was, well, you realize the power of that when Obama came to office, like that was like the social media election, my nigga. Like that was the biggest Facebook election. Like you think so? Yeah, because according he, to these fucking records, used, Biden got more fucking votes from black people than 
I'm and, 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 and that's why I'm like, okay, like I, you could say whatever numbers now at this point, but at that point that was like the turn in the corner where nobody had never used like nobody even really took that platform seriously. They really wasn't on the you know I mean, I guess that was when the leading up to it was the report when they reported on the news, like on his last Facebook post was, but like leading up to that, like nobody had done nothing with, with no social media. Like it wasn't no social media thing like four years before that. Yeah. Um, and if so, George Bush wasn't smart enough to utilize that. But it was really like Obama went on Facebook and shit. And now they realize how powerful that shit is. They trying to harness the power of that shit right now, yeah. but and now they like, oh, we could really spin this shit. We could, we could block him. The shit we don't want the shit that might cause people to up uproar and uprise and shit. And so this leads to my next thing. We, I'm done with the election. So I hope they do turn that shit. It's around. China now, nigga. Say what? <laughs> it's China now, nigga. So y'all better get ready for this one kid shit. Have all your babies now. <laughs> and, and personally, just to uh, tap into that. I have zero fear about what's coming because I know it's coming. Uh, I'm definitely in tune with the Most High, and I'm ready for this shit to happen anyway. The end of the Gentile power is mean the rise of Israel, and that, I mean it's just my selfishness that make me get upset at this shit. And I'm, when I say these niggas happy, man, it make them complacent and content. They think that this shit is going how it's supposed to go. They are rooted here, and they think that they're supposed to be here. Therefore, they won't turn to the Most High and repent for the egregious sins of our fathers and it is just continued the debauchery of our nation whatever can i can i last say this about yeah. this election shit um my favorite thing about this of all time because i just i because i just tweeted about the shit is watching the fucking the videos with niggas is crying fuck van what's his name van fuck that nigga. man niggas is crying talking about we did it Crying and cheering in the streets like it's fucking uh, semi. I mean, like it's fucking Akeem wedding and shit. They was flipping around <laughs> like it was a fucking Black Panther movie. Like I was like, man, are you see, like this shit hilarious. Shout out to my nigga Chris. I'll be telling you for last We did it, guys. We did it, y'all niggas. But then I on the flip, I've been seeing people. A lot of people, um, I don't guess they pessimists like me, but they. Been saying, all right, good job, we got Trump out, but man, we got some, we 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 in trouble for the he, the years ahead. And I'm like, nigga, what was Trump? How out? you congratulate me? And nigga, this was not you knew it wasn't a good thing, right? But they heart could make them be like, man, Trump ain't that bad. They don't want to look. Like, they don't want to look black card. <laughs> and I ain't trying to say that I once again, like like we yeah. say, I don't sway one way or another. I'm indifferent politically, right? So. I don't care. I just be like, I like, I did like that that nigga was straightforward. Cause Come I appreciate. Come on, you born your shit ain't. I I appreciate blunt motherfuckers. Biden just look very seen now for real. Biden, Biden. And I'm like, if you look at Kamala scary. when she's standing by him, man, look at Kamala. Kamala looking at that nigga like you ain't. I'm gonna be the president in 18 months. Man, she gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna be the first multiple fucking rainbow face president ever. She gonna put one of them motherfucking Shakespeare poisons in that nigga uh, drink, nigga. <laughs> like one of them old school poisons. Like, Joe, the bitch is not to be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, don't eat from her hand, nigga. Joe, she remember you had her on that segregated bus. <laughs> Black bitches don't forget nothing. She gonna remind you of that shit in the middle of the night. Hey, Joe. Yeah, Camilla. Remember I was on that bus. I think that was wrong. And then she's just gonna walk out the Oval Office. He's gonna be fucking befuddled. He's gonna be confused. And he's gonna be thinking they friends. She's gonna bring it up again. Uh, another six months later, just keep bringing up old shit that's not progressive. And it's gonna give him a heart. I know what that means. This nigga ain't a life of love, Bursley. That's all I'm saying. Hey, he out of here. Joe ain't gonna make it through four years. He ain't gonna. He's 78 fucking years old. These things out here look for 78 year old white men to say they life. They count. They down. crying because this is. This, that nigga, he's the, he's the old Brad Pitt on 12 Years Slave. Shit fucking hilarious. Nigga, like, we did it. I think we got it right, guys. And why the fuck they not going to age well? They ask, they ask, they ask, and you know, this is how black people don't want accountability. Or, or they don't, you know what I'm saying, cry about when niggas die like they do when niggas kill each other. Well, they cry when white people do something. But we don't hold ourselves accountable. Why ain't nobody asked Donald Trump what the fuck happened to King Vaughn? Yeah. 
Do we not give a shit about? Is he just another casualty because it's a black man who killed him? I mean, like he shouldn't have been down there. <laughs> Talking for the, shit. For the record, <laughs> I didn't even know King Von until he got killed. Again, I had made a statement on Facebook. I don't mm-hmm. know these rappers until they get killed or until they make up a dance Definitely. on TikTok. I, I have no idea who these little niggas is. And that's sad too because he's from Chicago. And you vibes are very fucking violent. Because I, 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 I didn't know either. I was like, where are you from? He from I thought he's from Atlanta. It's some sick shit. Uh, they said they got the shooting on camera. I definitely don't I don't watch shit like that. Uh, I need my fucking murders to be action. Cut. I like movie murders. I say I grew up in the action era, but I knew no matter how many times the fucking uh, John Rambo got shot, he'd be back on part two. I like fake murder. I don't watch shit where niggas get killed. Then, uh, this is supposedly some gang beef. I don't know how far he moved uh-huh. niggas' kids, children, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, sure. what's even more fucked up, they said that the autopsy pictures leak today. Right. I harken back to when they showed two black autopsy pictures. I was young and I was eight and I looked and I was disgusted. I said, never again. What is wrong with these motherfuckers? They out here getting money. You know what I'm saying? This is the most easy time in the history of America for black people to make money independent of white people and they still can't get away from that fucking slave shit. Maybe that's the new, maybe that's the new crack. Money. Money to the young niggas. Put money in young niggas' hand and you gonna Money is the old crack. Money's always been the, the love of money is the root of evil. So that's nothing new. But I mean, it, it, they didn't have such access to it back then. Now you can make money off of YouTube and all type of websites and shit like that. So any little little nigga could have some money. Unless back then I thought I thought you was selling drugs if you was a little nigga that had money like it was. So you think they had no computers? These niggas making no programs. Yeah, so these niggas is uh, just conveniently rich. I mean, like, but even though with the money, how does the money precipitate murder? You said well, how? I mean, I think the money enables you to travel from Chicago to Atlanta to get murdered. It, and the money enables you to buy a lot of lean and uh, pills that this, they popularize, and you can be about that rock rock style life. Was this a drug related death? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying so that. I turn you. I turn you into a white dude. Yeah, they not. These little niggas just be turning up. Is the thing to do. Yeah, and like you, they don't be thinking straight. And like you got all this money, so you just constantly fucked up and doing stupid shit, and you don't see why the shit's stupid. Ain't that crazy? He go to Atlanta and get killed. Uh, possible with the California got killed. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, it's crazy. Is, is it out there? And correct me if I'm wrong. Though, was was he like doing like flagrant things? It was fighting. He and some. Now I'm gonna say this, and I'm not sure. Now this is where I turn to the white media uh, correspondent. Uh-huh. Is this one guy named Quando Rondo who he was beefing with? Right. Uh, he was fighting. Now this is what they say. Now I'm not too versed in what happened. He's, he's fighting. And his brother came over and shot him, which uh-huh. I totally don't understand. I understand the sucker punch. Uh-huh. I understand your your boy fighting, <laughs> your family member fighting. You going to light him off up with your fist. Now I would have pissed. That's what I don't get. I don't understand. Like we, even when we was young, everybody be talking about small. I don't do them shoot people back in the day. Yeah. It's like they shooting all the time now. Yeah, they like I, I ain't fighting. And this is the shit that I don't like about niggas, man. Because why we not cleaning this type of shit up? Why we, why, why we not castigating? You know, what I'm saying uh, white gun makers. You know, what I'm saying why we not saying even with the eighties and nineties to just say no. We talking about the niggas with dope. And then somebody will have a light bulb going in their head once a time and say, well, how did it go dope get from South America to here? But nobody want to hear that shit because that's not sexy. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody say, where the fuck these niggas get guns from? Right. Who's responsible for giving these niggas guns? You know what I'm saying? But that's not what's sale. And unfortunately, niggas don't hold niggas accountable. And we still rather look for the people who are pressing us to save us. These are fucking totally backwards. Yeah, for sure. What else we got on deck, man? We can wrap this up. We got anything you wanna say in closing? Uh man, I'm just I'm just ready to mask off, man. That's all that's all I can say, man. Hopefully that's coming soon, cause you know, niggas will believe anything, so You said mask off? Yeah. What? They gon they gonna be when they be like, All right y'all, we're just kidding, it's over. Like, y'all ain't gotta wear no mask no more. I think I don't know the the tweet was fake, but they saying that uh, it's forever. 
Biden's first move is president elect, mass mandate for all. And he said that if he can't get the governor to go to it, do it, he gonna go talk to the mayors. Like so, he was, so he about to, that means about to put on that 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 snitching shit for real, like they was already trying to do before he got in office. These niggas they so compliant though. So it, man, yeah. I see another shutdown coming. I do too. It's gonna be tough because with the vaccine, uh, like why we need a mask if y'all got the vaccine. Mm-hmm. Uh, one one thing they saying like New York's trying to force mandatory vaccines. Yeah, and I'll tell you right here, this ain't no macho shit, nigga. I ain't, I'm not getting no fucking shot. My children ain't getting no shot. The rest of you motherfuckers be safe. Yeah, yeah. Especially if it's tied to government benefits. Good luck to you niggas, cause I don't need it. You need it. Uh, but, uh, yeah. uh, which brings me to the next point. On the, on that note, government shutdown equal y'all finna be in the crib. So follow at go Jason I, uh, cause uh, it's finna be a bunch of shit popping off and popping up. So uh, and I'm not playing now, uh, cause I understand we finna be uh, in the crib for real, for real. So I've been making a lot of content for you. Uh, That's depressing from the aspect I can't go to the gym. It's only so many fucking push-ups you want to do in the fucking living room. You're going to have to invest, bro, in that bench. I don't got that gym money, nigga. Gym no, money is expensive. I'm talking about that bench, <laughs> at least. You right. Yeah. You right. Please don't shut us down, Mr. President. I like you better than Trump. No, nah, that nigga, Mr. Biden. Yeah, President Biden don't even sound like do. What about President? Really? President. Yeah, come on, Harris' husband is the fucking first, second man. White dude, right? Ain't that's a, he fucking your bitch that better than you. I ain't trying to listen. Like, no, I don't give a fuck about that. I ain't trying to listen what I'm saying real quick. Cause we got some cool white boys. Yeah. Fuck them. Look, last Monday he was better than her. We managed the dynamic shift in that fucking house. Now she walking around saying shit like get your shirt, get your shirt off up's couch. Why did you leave the water? Why? Why is the water in the sink? She's saying all kinds of emasculating shit. You know, what I'm on the couch, huh? So that's what you're gonna do. I'm out here trying to fix the world and shit, and you out here playing oh. Tetris on your fucking phone. But fuck what she's saying. Imagine being that nigga. I ain't got to do shit. So you said it's a come up for him. He gonna be using her car and shit while he gonna drop he her off. He was already winning, but he went into the. He gonna drop her off at the White House to take her car to see his girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> Yes, while you was in China, I had got you some flowers. Uh, I cleaned up. <laughs> Man, listen. He ain't got to do shit. That's one of my biggest fears. Man, no, I don't me. Oh. I don't want to be, I don't want to be the bitch's dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be the ornament. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be a, what's a, what's a good TV show? What's, what's, I don't want to be Callan or Overton. <laughs> I don't want to be on living single, nigga. I want to be on two niggas next door. My sitcom is called Two Niggas Next Door. It's these five, one, four, five chicks over here. Nigga, you. Two niggas next door. Coming soon. Definitely. <laughs> but you're going to wrap this up. You say, you ain't got nothing on dick. No Iowa shows or nothing. No, no. man. They ain't doing the weird. Uh, we not doing bar and shit again. So, and it's about to get cold, so. Motherfuckers was like, we did our last show for the season. We're so fucking happy they got warm. Go. We got warm. happy when we got shit to do. So, yeah, but oh, it's so going to be warm fun. next week, so. This was warm this week. Next week, you get back to normal. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm trying to is supposed to drop tonight, but not super fucked so, up. So, I might pop up, but yeah, I'm trying to find out when this white rabbit show is. We'll see. All right, all right. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in to another fantastic episode of The Best Podcast.